G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. I'll show you how to uh, get into it. So when in Funbridge, what you want to do is come down and click get started slash practice. Go to exclusive tournaments, click view all tournaments and then search for Bridgevid or Pete Hollands. Give it a shot and then we can compare. Taking out the top spot is closer to 50 than 50% with plus 40 imps. That's relatively close. Well done. Uh, in second spot, Kerry for Sam, 21 plus 29 imps. Julian CB plus 26 and 64 plus 26 imps. And rounding out the top five is Rosoff, Comfric 2, Chris M, all with plus 25. So there seems to be a decent amount of imps on offer. So well done to all of those. And uh, quick squiz at uh, who's doing well and then jump into it a decent turnout all right let's give it a go hey 10 points My partner opened diamond um we've got a diamond fit most likely so start with a heart we do have a diamond fit do i want to invite game i usually like 11 to invite game having a diamond fits promising um, but no aces. I think I'm just going to take the low road and pass. Okay. Uh, so my partner has a maximum hand. So if I would have invited, we would be there on this lead. It looks like we've got three spades and a heart is four. I can maybe build two or three club tricks is six. I can maybe build three total diamond tricks is nine. So we have some play here. Um, so it looks like a, it's a reasonable-ish game um, on the spade lead. Um, so I think I just want to win in the south hand and then start playing clubs and ultimately take a double finesse in diamonds. Okay, so six of spades lead. Uh, no queen there, so I think east is led from uh, length. Okay, so we're up to three clubs. And let's finesse. Okay, so we are making lots of tricks. I've even got entries. Then we can win here, and we have all but one of them. Okay, so I probably lose a couple of imps. I think some people might have invited on this hand. Oh, flat board. Some people did invite on this hand, but some people made uh, fewer tricks. Some people got to two diamonds. Um, like here, partner had an absolute maximum. Um, and game was pretty good. But like, if we didn't get a spade lead, it would have been a bit more awkward. Um, yeah, I think it was reasonable. But uh, as I said, 10 points, I tend not to. Um, one, two, board number two. So here we've got 13 points. Uh, this looks like a one club opening. It is awkward if partner bids a spade. Ooh, one diamond. So I'll raise to two diamonds. Three clubs. All right. I kind of want to show that I've got some stuff in hearts and not something in spades. Okay. And it looks like we've got five club tricks, two diamonds, ace of hearts, ace of spades. Also looks like slam is almost there. I don't think it's quite there. I think we've got uh, a heart loser and at least one diamond loser. But on some like really favorable breaks like uh, Queen Jack Dalton, I think you need. I was wondering about singleton diamond on it with East, but uh, is there anything more than just uh, taking my winners here um, I could duck a couple of spades I don't think there's any harm in doing that might improve my squeeze chances so we'll start with that um, three of spades spades are probably five four Okay, so let's keep an eye out for spade discards. It's probably my primary one, and diamonds is my next thing that I care about. Spades for knowing how many tricks that they've actually got. There's a heart and a 
diamonds because my diamonds might come good. Or hearts. Even more hearts. There's one spade. Um, so they've still got two spades left out. So there is some possibility that if one hand gets in, they get two spades. But I think the more likely scenario is that East actually has the fifth spade. And then if they get in, then they get one spade trick. So to me, it looks like... I want to see if maybe West has a singleton jack of hearts. I think that's the most likely. I don't think that would be discarding down to singleton king of hearts. So we will come over here. And run the queen of hearts. Jack. No. And there you get the final two tricks. Ooh, okay. So I did have chances because uh, West voided themselves in spades. And East had the five card spade suit. So plus one imp, some people managed uh, it's two. Um, what'd they lead? They led the three of spades. For some reason, oh, I got confused. I thought they led the six. Um, so that's why I thought that uh, lefty had a five card suit. Anyway, moving on to board number three. All right, uh, 15 points, so nice, easy one, no trump. Okay, four hearts. Diamond lead. Uh, so we've got two spade losers. Well, if I'm counting from that hand, three in my hand, but uh, we'll count from the north hand. Two spades, two clubs, no diamonds. Uh, largely, I want to finesse the spades, hope that the... Um, I might have a heart loser as well. Hope that the ace of spades is on the east hand. And clubs, I want to finesse the queen. I'm always going to lose one, but hopefully uh, west has the uh, queen of clubs. Um, so I want to draw trumps ending in the south hand. And then just finesse the queen of clubs. Okay, no heart losers, which is good. Yeah, that was offside, so I need East to have the Ace of Spades, which doesn't look like they have it. Yeah, so we're going down one. Maybe two. They duck this uh, next uh, club, then I'm going down two. Um, yeah. Wondering if I could encourage them to take the ace uh, afterwards, but uh, down two here. So ace queen, we're offside. I could have trumped my diamond and my spade, um, but going after club seems the most promising. So I, I think I can make uh, eight, nine tricks. Uh, pretty much everyone was doing the same. Some people stopped in three hearts and made nine. Oh, they can go like club, club, club rough if I leave trumps out. That is one heart, two hearts. Two no for the miners. Is it? Yeah. Uh, three diamonds. We don't have anything more to say, so we'll leave it there. Uh, so Easton did it the first time, so I don't think that they're genuinely a 5-5 five, five shape all the time. Yeah. So 5-4, two, 2-2. Two. Uh, they've got 12 points opposite my 6, 18, 22 missing, maybe like 12 and 10. Um, partner can easily have more than that. Uh, right, so... Club switch isn't really what I was expecting here. I don't think the clubs are going anywhere. I don't know why my like my partner doesn't have a singleton club. That would give West five of them. My partner probably doesn't have four clubs because West would have four. Uh, my partner doesn't have probably doesn't have two clubs 
because that would give West four clubs and also four diamonds, which would give my partner like 10 cards in the majors, which again, I don't think is going on. Um, so my partner is probably just passively leading here. Eight. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. That eight could even be a low club. It might be from like King Jack eight or something. Um, I think I just want to take out heart and oh, they let an unsupported ace. Eight, seven. What's going on? Um, does my partner have ace, king of spades and not want to lead that? Did my partner have the 10 cards in the majors and not want to compete to three hearts? No. No is the answer. Uh, most people were defending three diamonds. Some people held it to nine. All right, so my partner only had nine cards in the majors. That makes a lot more sense. The eight was from Jack eight seven. Not what I'd usually switch to there. The hand is really awkward to lead from. Um, we can get a spade, a heart, a club. Seems about it, so. Anyway, we are currently plus one. Moving on to board number five. 17 points, my partner opened, all right. I'm going to start with two clubs. We have some promise of slam here. Uh, balanced hand or singleton club. All right. Uh, is two clubs game forcing? Yeah. So I could bid three clubs or three diamonds, maybe three no trumps. First of all, to make slam opposite 12 to 14 balanced, what would I need? Ace of spades, ace queen of clubs, queen jack of diamonds. So if we had that, ace, ace queen, queen jack, that's a 13 count. So that's looking reasonably promising. Um, three diamonds, it says the description says that I've got four of them, which I don't have. Uh, so looks like I should bid three clubs, see what my partner wants to do. Okay, three hearts. To me, that just looks like we wanna to go to three no trumps. Ace, ace, queen, jack. Okay, so six clubs is close. You might be able to make it, but it's not a good slam. Uh, we have four diamond tricks, ace, ace. So we've got six tricks. Um, I wanna work on clubs. Might be able to get six clubs, four diamonds, and a heart is 11. I might be able to get 12, um, but we just want to start on clubs. Nine cards, so usually we want to uh, just play for the queen to drop. Um, I don't think I've got any good reason not to. Okay. All right, so I can cash my clubs and then I have to find three discards which is like a heart and two spades, maybe. I could lead the queen of hearts here. There's a fair chance it gets covered if they do. I could just cash out for my 11 tricks. But if I lead the queen of hearts now, if they cover, then... Um, yeah, I'll just lead the queen. Uh, I'll, my thoughts were, let's see if they cover it. If they do, I've got my 12 tricks. I should have pitched my spades first. I don't mind coming down to Singleton Jack, but I should have held on to my heart protection longer. Yeah. It was offside. I could have made it if I pulled a spade up instead, but I gave myself a chance. Plus two imps. Some people did bid six clubs, so 
Yeah, they, they started off the same way, but then when partner did three hearts, they just sort of key carded, um, which... Uh, can you even make six clubs on this? You can discard your spade on the fourth diamond. You have to get clubs right, and you have to guess spade. So it's not really a good slam. So happy to be in three no trumps there. So far, we are plus three. With a relatively flat set, but people have found ways to get some uh, good uh, distribution, well, good variation out of it. All right, so Hana showed like a strong hand um, by doubling and bidding spades, and I just said, I'm sort of happy to play a no trump. Uh, looks like the opponents can take three hearts and the ace of diamonds at their leisure. Um, discards here are awkward. We might be able to get... I think I want to just knock out the ace of diamonds early. We can get three diamonds, two clubs, three spades. I think they're going to give me my ninth trick here. No, not quite. All right. Uh, all right. I think may as well test to see if spades break 3-3, three, three, or at least hope for that. So we're just taking our diamonds, and then I'm going to run my spades and see if they break. One spade discard. Two spade discards. Three spade discards. They are all good. Okay, flat board. Some people got to four spades. Um, like three no seemed a decent contract. Four spades, you would expect to be losing two hearts, a diamond and a spade most of the time. So I don't think it's that good of a contract. Um, in response to the double, uh, my thoughts were bid um, one heart rather than one diamond. Your diamonds are better, but my hand wasn't shameful. So I wanted to uh, give partner something which they could more easily raise. If I was a weaker hand, I would bid a diamond here. Um, but over there, spade bid. I guess lots of people who bid a diamond got there because it seems like partner just did it. Jumping to two hearts, usually I'd want a five card heart suit for that. And the king of clubs also didn't seem a great card, but that was another way to also get to four spades. Anyway, uh, so far we've had four flat boards and three imps picked up over the other two. So pe <laughs> there's been like heaps of opportunity in this one. Um, but I haven't navigated it. Board number seven. Uh, 17 count. Two spades. This is a transfer to clubs. Shortness in hearts. Right, usually I would play this as a singleton or void in spades is the way that I play it. Shortness in hearts. My hand is fantastic. I am going to be slam trying. I could Q-bid. I can just key card them, right? I can't have a better hand. Uh, we're only missing one key card, so we'll give six clubs a go. All right. Um... That club lead is really ominous. This slam looks really, really good, except for the fact that I've led a club here. Um, so I don't think West would lead away from Queen third or King third or King Queen third. So I could hope that like they've got four clubs to an honor, Queen fourth, King fourth. I could hope that there's king queen doubleton. Um, 
I just like I can't imagine leading a club from Queen third. King third you could lead. They they could lead away from the king. Um but Queen third club they won't. Um so let's see what they win with. All right. So the chance that West still has the king. Um Yeah, we'll duck that. I could have won it. Like I can just pitch it on a spade. So Ace of Diamonds would have been fine. All right. Um, do I want to play for King Queen Doubleton, or do I hope that they led away from King Third or King Fourth? Uh, right. I think I hope they let. I, I don't really want to play for King Queen Doubleton. It, it could be. But uh, we'll finesse. Totally was, I reckon. <laughs> uh, if East did like the false card with the King of Clubs, like often you see people like from King Queen Doubleton or things like that just always play the highest one to hide it. For me, that would have been like, okay, I definitely should try and drop the uh, other one there. Um, <laughs> but like the fact that they didn't do it, like I reckon human players would just routinely put the king of clubs down there. Um, but like from king queen doubleton that they actually played the queen. It's kind of a good play because like you can tell that leading away from the queen of trumps is just like a terrible thing to to try and do. Uh, bidding to six clubs seemed like a really good spot. Um, and as it was, the club league gave me a chance to try and play for it. But I was like, leading away from king third is like a fine thing to do. King fourth seemed okay as well. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> punished. Uh, some people did do it. Uh, just check. Uh, they Q bid and yeah. Started low and yeah, just dropped it. Pretty close. Definitely worth consideration. Um, all right. Checking what two hearts is. Okay, two hearts is hearts and a minor. Uh, I will just pass. I was thinking about showing hearts. All right, uh, so West has heart, uh, spades and diamonds, and they found their fit. Um, kind of just want to lead a passive lead. Heart lead seems ambitious. Diamond lead doesn't seem great, though. So well, we'll go for a diamond. Not particular. Oh, actually, East had king jack of diamonds. Um, so I don't think it mattered, but if they had King Jack Dalton, it did. Everything looks like it's working pretty well for them. Um, Dummy had 11 points opposite my 10, 21, 19 points missing. My partner is like maybe another two points, like maybe the Jack of Clubs or Queen of Hearts or something, but nothing of use there. We're getting the ace of clubs, and that's it. And the ten of diamonds. My nine of diamonds foxed them into hooking the diamond. I thought, like, <laughs> it probably isn't our lead agreement of what we should do. So I thought I had singleton nine, nine doubleton, that sort of stuff. Um, but we'll just take ace of clubs. I could could have waited on that. I don't think the club was going anywhere. And if my partner had the jack ten of clubs, there was some extra room. So I stole a trick there. Flatboard. Okay. So some people held it to fewer tricks. Nine of hearts lead. They play a diamond to the king. Okay. 
Um, yeah, anyway, that was this week's Funbridge tournament. Really flat set that I thought. Board 7, definitely the most interesting. I was quite happy getting to six clubs. What do you reckon? Should this one, should you actually drop the Doubleton King Queen? Do you think West would lead a club from three to the King or not? Is that something that uh, they should do? Or do you reckon it's clear that uh, the King Queen's offside? Love to know your thoughts there. Anyway, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, big shout out to all my patron supporters. Without them, I wouldn't be able to make this sort of content. So thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.